Hello friends, it's Angelina and Dima from Walk Energy World. In this video we are coming to you with the recent edition of the newly purchased or upgraded gear that we love to use or gear that we found unnecessary or not so good to use that we won't pack with us from now on. In the past we have already made the separate video of our failures and favorites gear and all the decathlon gear where we mentioned a lot of useful stuff that we still like to use. So we encourage you to watch it as well. But today we'll mention all the recent discover gear from decathlon, AliExpress and MSR like hiking tents, clothing, bag backpack, track and poles and cooking system. This time we'll start off with the gear we found unnecessary and won't carry with us anymore. The non-freestanding tents usually don't have a frame and they need to be staked first in order to set up. After trying several different tents of such type, we found it is less convenient and longer to set up. Also they tend to have less space and height inside, so it makes them less comfortable for us. And the main reason why we don't like them is because they are less reliable in different weather conditions as they only rely on stakes. There were several times when the soil was too soft or vice versa, too hard to insert the stakes and for them to green properly and then we were left with the badly set up tent and could just hope that there won't be any stormy winds. So despite those tents being generally more lightweight and compact, we seem to never like no reach for them. In the same category falls the Lanshan Ultra Light Single Walled non freestanding Tent from AliExpress. We already discussed the non freestanding type tents, but this tent got into our failures also because of it being a single wall tent. We were getting a lot of condensation in the mornings and waking up with the wet sleeping bags and water drops dripping on our heads was not a pleasant experience. Also, we wouldn't rely on it much in the big winds because of thin materials it's made of and the whole construction. So overall we found such type of tent as Lanshan is not suitable for us. You can check out the full review of this tent on our channel if you wish. Next we'll discuss several cooking related items. Pixada wood stove from AliExpress is not a complete fail. We have used it on a couple of wilderness hikes and found it very helpful as we didn't have to depend on the gas supply and could be cool about using as much hot water as we need, including taking the shower. So we still think for the wilderness and remote places, long distance hikes, it is a nice piece of gear to have. But because we found ourselves for the most part hiking from a village to village in more populated areas or hiking in the mountains for a week or so, we didn't use it a single time and so we carried it in vain. As we found that a big gas container is enough to cook and have a shower for a week or even more. We have done several tests with this stove in separate videos too. We have showed this Decathlon Quick Lag gas stove on many of our videos and the Decathlon Gear We Love video too. And there we shared how durable it is, as it has been with us for around 3 years. What we discovered comparing to the others that it is too heavy and bulky and also its performance is far from great with the poor gas supply not enough for efficient cooking. The gas container with such click lag system is hard to find as well, it is not widely available. For class track 100 easy fit 70 liter backpack. In our previous full review of this backpack we shared that we liked how durable and dependable it is and that it has a rigid spine. It is indeed a nice and high quality backpack from Decathlon, as usual. And we can't complain about that. We realized that the volume fit is too large, as the larger the volume, the more there is a tendency to pack in it, and then it easily becomes overloaded. The material itself is very dense and rigid, which makes it a solid quality item, but it adds to the general weight too. So for now we are still in the search for a perfect backpack for me, as no alternative has yet been found. There are a lot of options online, but we find it quite hard to choose from, as we can see the backpacks. And try it for ourselves. Plastic spoons deform and break very easily, especially when cooking, and also can be quite toxic. From now on we only take the wooden spoons with us, as it is more natural and durable alternative, resistant to the high temperatures. In some previous videos we have mentioned how we like to use our dehydrated tomatoes and mushrooms in our cooking to make the meal more nutritious and delicious. But since then, unfortunately, we discovered that we don't tolerate well the dehydrated tomatoes, mostly because of them being very salty. And even when you don't add salt to your main meal and 
add only these dehydrated tomatoes, the meal ends up being quite salty. We think they made it like that for a longer storage period. But to us it is not a good option and we are on the lookout for more natural alternatives. These were all the things in the failures category. And now moving on to the gear we absolutely love and we are happy to discover. The freestanding type tents are our favorite to use on all of our hikes and we don't think we'll ever go back to the non freestanding tents. We like that the pole construction makes it possible to move the tent around easily, also because you don't only rely on stakes, the soil doesn't matter much. So to us it is a more versatile tent that we like also for comfort reasons, with more livable space inside. It is generally more weather resistant and reliable due to the construction type and has the second wall so separate fly sheet. It can be heavier and bulkier, but these are one of the only disadvantages to it and we are ready to deal with it. MSR Elixir 2 tent was actually our first freestanding type of tent and we loved it from the first sight. We liked how spacious it is inside, its design, ease of moving around and the quality of materials. We like how it holds up the stormy weather and strong winds and the option of taking off the fly sheet and staying in the tent body. On a nice warm weather it is a very enjoyable feature as it has many meshed parts and windows to see through. This tent even has the option being set up with the fly sheet only that we showed in our wilderness shower routine video. We like the two spacious big vestibules where two big backpacks and shoes fit perfectly. Inside it is very cozy, light and modern looking. We like the amount of white color used in the fabric. The dark green color of the fly sheet is great for stealth camping and it is the best we had in all the tents. The main disadvantage of it is that it is definitely on the heavier side because of thick materials it's made of and the amount of poles it has, so not suitable for ultralight hiking. Also at first we spent a bit of time getting used to the setup and how to do it better, so there is a learning time with this tent. We have done two very detailed reviews of this tent that you can have a look at. Continue the topic of MSR, we can not to mention the packs they make and that we got in the kit with our MSR Elixir tent. They are of a great quality, easy to use packs, much more convenient than the deck triangle packs we used previously. They are made of the durable lightweight aluminum and hold the tent in place nicely. But at the same time they are very easy to insert and pull out and they don't hurt your hands. The last item we are going to mention in the tents category is Quechua MH100 tent from Decathlon. Just recently we have done a full review of this tent where we wanted to see why it was quite popular among budget-friendly options. And we made the conclusion that it is an overall nice budget tent to have for campground stays, bikepacking or motorcycle trips and even for some backpacking. Its weight is a bit on the heavier side, but still acceptable and comparable to our MSR Elixir. It is a very nice tent for the beginners, with the installation being quite straightforward. It is more suitable for one person due to it being a bit narrow. Also, we don't think it is made for harsh, stormy weather conditions. The sleeping bag we discovered just recently has been an Edges Max Nano 2 bag from Aliexpress. In the previous gear video we were talking about the Edges Max mini sleeping bags, as we use them all the time and found them very light and great to use on summer or warmer weather hiking. And as we didn't have any autumn or spring warmer sleeping bag, we decided to try out the same brand but a different model, which turned out to be basically the warmer version of the Edges Max mini bag. And since then it was our best companion on some of the autumn and spring hikes in the mountains. We found that the Edges Max Nano 2 is a nice quality budget-friendly bag that's perfect for camping in temperatures between plus 5 degrees to 0 degrees Celsius. It has soft fabric and is easy to stuff, quite lightweight and comfortable to sleep in, also being one of the most budget bags for this category. You can find a separate detailed review of this bag in our gear reviews playlist. The other piece of gear we've been loving lately is our Quechua MH500 trekking poles from Decathlon, that we also did the separate review on. We do think they are a nice budget pole suitable both for beginners and more experienced hikers. Budget price makes them accessible to everybody and they are great for any road trekking or mountain terrain. To us it is a versatile and flexible trekking pole 
comfortable to use with ergonomic shaped handle and improved adjustment system. And it makes them a happy medium between the most basic trekking poles and more advanced ones. As you may have learned already from our previous favorites video, we do buy our most sports hiking clothing and shoes in Decathlon store. And this Forecast Track 100 convertible hiking pants that they actually make for men and women, we discovered just a year ago and have been using them ever since. Before we have never had the convertible pants, but after trying it, we think we are hooked on it now. It is very convenient when you're hiking in different regions and weather conditions to have the options of a full leg pants or shorts. Otherwise, as with all hiking pants Decathlon makes, these are very light, durable, quick dry and easy to maintain pants that do not restrain the movements and have many useful pockets too, which is very important. The last category we are going to mention, the gear in is going to be cooking. We got this little BRS 3000T gas stuff from AliExpress store when we were in the search for alternative to our Decathlon click leg stuff. We were relying on the many good reviews at head, and also it's lightweight. And when we started testing it, we were pleasantly surprised by how well this small thing performs. It gives a stable, nicely spread fire, which is very important for efficient cooking and is quite economic again compared to our previous stove. It does need a bit of care when using because of how light and thin the material is. Overall, it is a great budget piece of gear that is well worth its price. Next thing we show you is a 1 liter aluminum cooking pot. We got it from AliExpress to replace our old Decathlon pot, and it is actually no name. There is not much to say about it rather than it is a basic cooking pot that fulfills its purpose. We like that it has a nice lid included and folding handles and it is quite deep and has enough volume to cook meals for two people. The aluminum is of a good quality and doesn't wear out quickly. After having a good experience with the cooking pot, we decided to go ahead and order from AliExpress the Lexala Titanium Cup. We wanted to have the separate cup for heating or boiling water for drinking, but the colder months came in out, because our main cooking pot is usually full of food or just dirty. And we think we have found a great piece of gear. On the website they have it in different volumes, but we took the 350ml mug, which is enough for what we are going to use it for. It also comes with the lid and collapsible handles, and its weight is only 84 grams. The titanium claims to be a very durable material, which we really like too. And that was the last piece of gear that we want to talk about and show you today. And then we want to make a quick disclaimer that most information and preference shared was based on our personal opinion and experience with these particular gear items. And if you have different experience with those, please don't hesitate to leave it in the comments. It will be much appreciated by us and other viewers. And don't forget to check out our other gear review videos as well, where we go more in depth on each of these items mentioned. If you found this video useful in some way, give it a thumbs up and to see more videos like this you can subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to support our work with the videos, you can do so on our coffee account. That is all for today's video. We'll see you again in the next one. Take care and have great hiking adventures. Bye! Bye.